Nikola Jokic, he got himself another MVP, and he joined a small group of NBA stars to win three MVPs. This group got guys like Wilt Chamberlain, LeBron, Michael Jordan, Kobe, Larry Bird, and a few more people too. But Nikola Jokic now joins this elite club of NBA MVPs. And, and people want to have the conversations now, like, is he one of the best centers to ever do it? Is he one of the best bigs to ever do it? I, I don't think it's time to have that conversation just yet. Maybe get a few more MVPs and then we can have a conversation. Definitely get a few more championships. And, of course, we can have the conversation. But, you know, despite people hating on Jokic for winning the MVP, personally, I don't think he should have won the MVP. But I want to look at the votes before I discuss, you know, why he should or shouldn't have won the MVP. This thing is absolutely crazy. Looking at the votes. Jokic received 78 first place votes for the MVP award. Shai Gilgis Alexander, who a lot of people thought should have won MVP, and I thought he should have won MVP just based on star power and his skill set that he has, 15 first place votes in the NBA. Luka Doncic, another guy who I heavily vouched for, only four first place votes in the NBA. This is disgraceful. So Jokic, 78 first place votes. Shai Gilgis Alexander, 15. And Luka, 4. This is insane, bro. And, and you know, when I'm looking at this stuff, I'm like, okay, the people with the votes, what are we really basing this off of? Because looking at it, I'm like, it has to be stats. In order to give Nikola Jokic another MVP, it has to be strictly stats. Because based on what I think the most valuable player is in the NBA, it's someone who who's not a boring player. It's someone who has a great talent and the league would be in danger if this guy did not play all season when I think of this the league would not be in danger if Jokic didn't play all season we will miss the numbers and the statistics but no we would still have a lot of entertainment because Shai Gilgis Alexander is a very entertaining young man that when he's playing in the NBA this man is crazy the most valuable player to me means like if this guy went down if someone went down in the in the league the league is going to be hurt. People are not going to care as much. People won't be as entertained of, of the matchups that we're going to be watching. I don't see that being Nikola Jokic, bro, because he's a boring player. And as much as I think Luka deserved it, he's not really the MVP either because he's kind of a boring player too. Shai Gilgis Alexander, he has a skill set for it and he has the star power for it. The guy is a force on the court and off the court because of what he's been doing, man. And this season, he's completely taken over. And, and as, I, as I've been saying, this is a young man's game now, bro. The, the game is changing. Between Anthony Edwards, Shai Gilgis Alexander, these guys are really running the league and they're carrying us right now uh, of the entertainment perspective outside of just what the numbers are presenting. But when you're looking at guys who genuinely enjoy the game and what they're bringing to the game, man, hey, Shai Gilgis Alexander should have won MVP for sure. So um, anyway, congrats to Jokic. Congrats to Jokic.